when I DJ at different shows, there is no greater high that I get than doing anything else. Because when I leave that stage, I am bursting with endorphins. Gaming is also another high. You got your headset on, you're listening, you're talking, it's strategy, and there's a lot of adrenaline. Gaming has always been a constant through my life, even before music. My dad, he was traveling the world and I was raised by my mom and gaming was like my haven. Right when I get back from school, I would go open uh, up the uh, Nintendo and play Zelda. Chess is one of my favorite games. If you give me 10 minutes, I'm gonna be playing a 5-5 game. If there's a certain game that can boost that adrenaline up and keep you on your toes, those are the games that I end up playing. First of all, I love League of Legends. So that's the first kind of introduction of what TFT was, is playing League of Legends. I have a group of friends that were obsessed with TFT. They would explain to me, it's just like chess. I'm like, that's my game. And then I started playing with them. Then the bug hits you and you're just like, okay, I can't stop playing. Riot reached out to me to make the remix for Remix Rumble. The first thing I thought about was like, I am going to brag to my friends. I mean, that is a big undertaking and I absolutely love the challenge until they gave me the four songs. This is by far the most complicated remix I've ever done in my life. Like nothing will come close to what I got from Riot. They're giving me four different genres. They're giving me two different BPM tempos, different vibes, classical, hip hop, metal, and jazz. They just got like, it's like a, a bag of like sounds and they're like, <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm like, <laughs> I, it was just difficult to go, go like, how do I find the balance between all these different worlds of music and to keep it, you know, in this traditional sense of how I would make a remix and make it feel like the Aoki soundtrack to the TFT world. You can't just mash it all together at the same time. There is an art to creating and building the web and the flow of the story, the, the emotion, the tension, the rise, the, the release. You wanna have a strong theme, a strong melody that will carry you, that, that will become the track, what people remember. Through all the tracks that I got, the one that really stood out to me was the violin. With like electronic music, you start with a kick and you're like, you're already pumped. With classical, I feel like I'm starting at a clean slate of zero and, and I can grow and build from there. So with that violin, it just, it kind of led me from a very touching, uh, minimal place. And then I was able to build from there. And I want the violin to stay ever present on this journey. As we go, we're bringing on hip hop, we're bringing on metal, and then we're bringing on jazz, and the classical is riding all the way through. And when we get to the drop, this is when we get more of the, the EDM element. After the first drop, that's when I introduced hip hop and metal together. Two different genres. You wouldn't actually think about how that would work, but the 808 bass underneath the metal guitar riffs actually sounded really cool. The third breakdown is what I would call the solo bridge. And this is a perfect place for jazz to just be unencumbered and free. And you could, so here's like the solo of the sax. And 
I really saved that last drop for the end to be a big, different sounding drop. Going back to more like glitch hop and more the dance cultured sounds. More of this glitch hop kind of drop, bringing the violins back in. And then coming up into the big counter melody right here. It's like the final boss moment, you know, just getting to that ending and that elation of beating the final boss and, and kind of basking in your glory and having these really big chords and big melody. And then, you know, I want to bring that violin sample back in here, which is where it all started. By far the most difficult remix I've ever, I've ever done. And in the end, it makes me more, the most proud that I was able to find this balance between all the worlds and include all the genres. Before I found music, it was difficult to find where I could belong and build friendships and, and have a community. The gaming world has given so much voice and so much identity to the kids like me that didn't really fit in. They can go to gaming and like game with their friends. And it has a sense of community that is global. I'm really honored to actually produce this remix for Remix Rumble to be a part of the community. Let's play, let's, let's rock it.